So, I have finally caught up with Kaiju number 8. So let's talk about it. Okay, so there's this new anime that is out right now called Kaiju number 8. Now, I've been seeing it on Crunchyroll there, and I've seen some people say some good things about it. So I was like, it's time to check it out. Six episodes on there right now. I believe it comes out every single weekend. So I'm excited now to continue watching it because this anime was surprisingly really good. I am absolutely loving it. It goes to the point where I finished episode six and I was like, all right, let's bring on the next one. The next one never came. And I'm like, oh, that's right. I'm now caught up to it. It now comes out every week. I don't want to wait any longer, especially with the cliffhanger ending of episode six. I don't want to. I want to watch it right now. This, look, if you guys don't know what Kaiju number eight is, let me just give you some idea about it. So basically, it's a world where there's Kaiju. So like Godzilla, we're talking like that sort of stuff, monsters coming up, and then there's this defense force that takes care of the kaiju to try and save people. So it's all about that, and now in here we get introduced to our main character, who is an older guy who has tried to become a defense force a officer, he wants to join the defense force, but he never was able to get past the second round of testing. But obviously when he meets a new person in his cleanup job that he has, who has the same dream as him to get in there, he decides it's time for him to re-go into becoming a Defense Force officer, and this is where we get that journey where they go on to fight Kaiju. But there is a twist in here, and what I love is, the twist is, during an event that happens, he ends up in hospital, and then there's this flying little kaiju that then goes inside his body, and now he's able to transform into a kaiju. Not like a massive kaiju, I don't know, I haven't read the manga or anything like that, so I don't know how big he can get or anything like that, but he's just a normal sized person, but dude, he looks freaking so sick, bro. Man, he looks so freaking awesome as a kaiju, but now he's a kaiju, he's able to transform between being a kaiju and a human. So he's now going into the defense force, right? He's going in there, but he can't show the kaiju form because they'll kill him. They'll just absolutely destroy him because they that's their job. Their job is to kill kaiju, and they don't know about this. So he's got to try and not use, like, imagine this. This is what I love so far about the show. So he's in the defense force, right? Everyone else is going good with the suit, with the combat suit, accessing the combat power to a certain percentage we obviously had this prodigy in there she the blonde girl she just obliterates everything she is like the one that they have never seen talent like this ever before and they really want they really showcase her in a way where she is the highest prodigy that has come out of the recruits so you have that but this guy the main lead as we're following him imagine going in there knowing that you have all this kaiju power, that you can destroy kaiju in one punch, but you can't use any of it. You have to try and use what you have physically in that as a person. And it's funny because he goes in and he has zero com uh, combat power percentage, zero when he's got the suit on and he finally gets it at 1%. It's funny, but he has to do everything else. But it's without him showcasing his kaiju power, he's actually very smart, because he's worked in the cleanup business with kaiju, he knows where the cores are, he knows what to look for in all that, so not only does he not have the ability to keep up with the prodigies and the, the, the recruits who are accessing 20% or more power right now in their combat suits, he has the brains to be able to figure out, and he gives the vital information to them about where to aim, what he needs to do, what, like, these are spawning, these ones, we need to kill this. So I like that it's not just him going, oh, I'm sitting to the side and that, and then accessing this. He still has value when he's not using his kaiju powers because of his previous job and his intelligence that he's able to help them do that. Now, he has a mission because we find out by flashbacks and stuff like that, he ha he knows the girl that is like the captain. She is the, the most badass one out of them. She can blow huge kaijus up with it. She can access, like, I think 
so far we've seen her access 96% power of the combat suit. So she's the one, and we know that they have history and that he wants to be next to her because they grew up or something like that. I'm sure we're going to get more backstory to it, which I'm looking forward to. So we have that, the relationships and the rivalries that are getting built between the recruits and that, really enjoy that as well. Obviously, my favorite, like one of the most badass moments so far is when the prodigy is wounded in the training exercises and the kaiju is there going to eat her and that, and he shows up and then he transforms into the kaiju in front of her and wrecks this other kaiju. It was... Dude, it was so awesome to see. He just looks so cool, man. And then you had that blue running through, and then the blue lightning, and when he charges up the punch, oh, it's absolutely fantastic. And then the dynamic between him and the protege, I absolutely love that dynamic. It's hilarious. It's funny. It's There's so much banter back and forth. The comedy of the show works as well. You know, it's not overpowering, but it it works for the character that he is. And I really like that, especially the uh, <laughs> the scene where they're in the spa and that. It's hilarious with the muscles and stuff like that. So funny. Comedy gold. It's just brilliant. But the action is great as well. The action is great. The animation is beautiful. It looks all great. It's vibrant. The kaijus look incredible. They're not all the same. They're very different and unique. The creativity behind it is superb. The OP though, oh my word, the OP is so good. That song, bro, that song, I'm going to be listening to that song so much. And I like what they did with the opening itself, how they created it like that, showcasing you. Like they don't give away any story threads or story plot or anything like that in it. They just, it's just this beautiful animation CG sort of kaiju thing that looked incredible but it's that music that just works you know this is i think people if you guys love anime and you love kaiju you guys need to watch this anime it is freaking awesome man it is so good i can't wait to see episode seven but if you guys have seen kaiju number eight let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below what do you guys think of the first six episodes so far i'm loving it i really enjoying this and I can't believe I was so late to the party for this one. I really can't believe it. But now, I'm back with it. I'm up to date with it. So every week, we're going to be talking about Kaiju number 8. Because it's just so freaking awesome. And dude, that other Kaiju, man. That other Kaiju. If you guys have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And that cliffhanger ending on episode 6. Bring on episode 7. So let me know your thoughts. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe. And peace out.